Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Midnight Woods is my name, and tonight Midnight Woods is going to continue unlocking some animals in the Tokyo Jungle survival mode. So I'm going to play as the black buck, and it looks like we'll be unlocking the sheep. Oh, or I could unlock. Well, what's the point in having two of them? Now, let's just play with. I don't really need to unlock another animal that looks exactly the same as the one we've got. That's just unnecessary. But we're going to unlock all the animals. Alright, well let's see what we have to do to unlock it. So, we have got to claim the sheep's territory. And in order to do that, we need to change generations once. And we need to head for the suburbs. Well, okay, well in that case... Oh, well the shopping district looks very good. Oh yeah, and I've got a few presents that I need. Well, we might as well combine that. I need that. I actually need those presents for Act 11. So you know what? We'll combine all that. And we'll do all that now. I'm going to save that fruit for a bit later, actually. So, we'll actually be unlocking Act 11. Oh, I get a present. Nice. Discount pet food. And uh, we will be unlocking the next animal at the same time. It's possible I won't need to go all the way to the suburbs. So, um... Let's head this way. I think the first present... Oh yeah, okay, we'll go to Daganzica to get the first present. And I think I'm going to start eating on the way... Actually, no, I will need to go to the suburbs because the present is over there, of course. Alright, let's get the first present. Memory Log 1. Oh, you absolute muppet. What am I doing walking into beagles so sh Oh! Oh, okay. I forgot that I was a size 3 animal that is able to just clean kill them. Uh, I wanted to record Act 11 of Story Mode. That was actually my plan for this video, so this hasn't quite gone as planned. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't quite have time to get all the presents and then do Act 11 as well. So I thought what I'd do is I'd just do something else. As I'd unlock another animal instead, but we will be doing Act 11 very, very soon. And I'm excited. I've been enjoying the story mode very much. There's some quite exciting missions in there. I, I, I enjoy this game. This is my favourite game. This is my favourite game, I think. It's, it's really the game that I enjoy recording videos of the most. No doubt about that. Alright, so. If we mark... Then that will put us closer to the challenges. That fruit is definitely going to help. Oh, and it comes with a present. A hero mask. Okay, well, I don't really wear hero masks. I don't I don't usually... I, I don't put items of clothing on the animals. I, I find that they just give unnecessary stat boosts. I, I prefer to play without the stat boosts just for the additional challenge. I mean, I'm good enough at survival that I can survive 100 years. I believe that one day... I am going to have a video of every single animal. I'm going to survive up to every, 100 years with all the animals. Oh, well, okay, well, I'm probably not if I play like that, actually. All right, let's just outrun it. Outrun it! No, you absolute muppet! You've run out of stamina. What are you, What am I doing? But if I jump up here... Oh, that was silly. Where is it? Oh, don't call for help! No, oh, no, no, this... Oh, this has gone wrong. This has gone... Alright, you know what? Go this way. Get the beagles and the golden retrievers arguing. And we might just about be okay. Oh, that was silly. I wasn't even paying attention. Come on. That was just silly. Alright, but at least I managed to outrun them. Alright, where are they? Alright, let's do this a bit more carefully this time. Jump up here. Come on. Nice. It's over there. That's more like it. Okay, well now that I've reached the rank of boss, I might as well use this place to increase my pack size a bit because it's got to be done anyway in order to claim the sheep territory. The prime female is interested. Oh, nice! Always nice to get a prime female. Alright, let's mate. Let's 
It's got to be done. So I'm going to have a large pack of about six, I think. About, about six of us. One, two. I can't. I can't really see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's six of us. All right. Claim the Shibuya suburbs. Ah, that's useful because that's exactly where I wanted to go anyway. So actually, uh, the sheep territory couldn't have been in a better place. Now, what's going to happen, boys and girls? is there are going to be loads and loads of sheep in the suburbs and I've got to try and mark the four flags basically without being killed by all the sheep who are going to try to defend their territories. Now obviously sheep are not the toughest animals in the game but of course neither is the black buck. So alright this will be interesting we're going to see what happens we're making our way to the suburbs I'm going to have a drink on the way there just to ensure that hunger doesn't run out even though water and hunger don't really go together. Alright, we've got some food ahead of us. I don't really need to mark anything. We've got one of these um, bushes or herbs, I think it's called. Just interested in what the challenges are. I've actually done the black buck before. I survived up to a hundred years and I actually completed all the challenges and it was actually a really really good run. I got over 200,000 points. It's actually one of the best runs I've ever got on this game. And it, I think it is the best one that I managed to get on video. There was one very good run I got once as a chimpanzee but I didn't record it unfortunately. But still every animal will be recorded. Alright, so the suburbs is just ahead of us. Now, this is going to be very interesting. It looks like... What's that in front of us? Oh, dear. Oh, there's so many of them, and I don't know how we're going to go past without being seen by at least one of them. And if one of them sees me, they all will. Now, really, sheep don't... They don't behave like this in the wild, do they? They don't all start... Look at this. Oh, right, that's, that's one down. All right. Well, they're fast as well. All right. Well, if they've got a slow attack. Oh well, actually. Uh, oh well. You know what? Let's mark while there's none of them nearby and hope. Okay, that was good. All right, that's one of them. All right. They're not actually tough at all. So, even as a black buck, I can take them down, no problem. Oh no, oh, and they only take five off my... Oh right, this is going to be a, a, a piece of cake in that case. Oh look, I've outrun them. Let's go up here. Alright, there's probably a few guarding this flag. You know what, if there's only... Only two of them... Oh no, there's more than two. Mark and hope. You're not supposed to mark flags when you're in a fight. But I think that it was reasonable to do so in that case. Alright, I'm going to eat a bit just to fill up my hunger a bit. Now these sheep, they they don't actually seem to be a problem at all. I mean, I, they're, they're barely hitting. They, all their hits seem to miss. It's like that they want to defend their territory, but they're, they're too scared to. And they know deep down they're too scared to. So, five... 80. That's 16. So I can take up to 16 hits from these sheep. Well, I don't think I'm going to get hit 16 times. And actually, seeing as I've got a pack of 6, that also means that I can actually take 96 hits. Because 16... Well, 16 times 6 is 96. Oh! Get rid of that one. Okay, so that is why you shouldn't really mark in a fight. Alright, let's get... Let's just kill off a few... I'm sure these sheep are a lot weaker than they usually... Because normally, I'm just... It's just one hit. And I can just kill it. But I don't think it's normally that easy. There's so many of them as well. It's not hard, it just takes a while to get rid of them all.
All right, you know what? I think there's few enough that we can now mark. Okay, or maybe not because of these nuisances just here. All right, punishment for being a nuisance in Tokyo Jungle is... to die. Ah, finally, we got rid of them all. All right, might as well eat something. Let's eat this. And now... So, I must have been hit about 10 times there. My life is just going to go back up. That's what happens. Life it just goes back up if there's nothing around. But then as soon as the dangers get back up, what will happen is my life will come to a freeze. It will stop going up, uh, but it will go down if I get hit. But I really don't see it being a problem. Now look at this sheep just wandering around by itself. That's not very sheep-like, actually. Sheep don't normally just wander around by themselves. Well, that sheep must be very unpopular within whatever herd it was supposed to be and it got chucked out by its own herd. Oh no, poor sheep. Alright, with only three of them I think we can probably mark. Alright, well that's done then. And now we also need this present just here. And I think that's also Act 11 unlocked. Oh, these sheep are not happy with me for claiming their territory. Let's go down here. See what's up over here. Oh no. Okay, they're, they're not going to like me being here. Well, there might be a crocodile down here that can take care of them. Yep. Oh, there's two crocodiles. Even better. I hope they're off. I hope they're not after me. You know, if I get rid of one animal, I think they're just all going to start fighting. Oh, maybe, oh, will they? What's over here, anyway? I didn't even know I could go over here. Hmm. Is this a shortcut that I didn't even know about? I think it is. I think I didn't even know about this place. Well, actually, I've learned something now. But then... Hmm. No, come on. You're not, you're, they're not going to get to me. I'm down here. They're not going to know how to do it. Have they just killed the... I thought they'd just killed all of these... Um, what is it? Lycaons? That's what I wanted them to do. Yeah, they're just taking them all out one by one, I think. Uh-oh. They are, are they after us? I think they are. Oh, they're all after me. Now oh, that's a few of us down... Oh, well, well, I've done what I want to do anyway. Alright. Okay, so I did what I wanted to do. Let's unlock the sheet now. I kind of died on purpose there. Oh, they're still fighting. Nothing can take out those crocodiles, though. So. Yeah, so as you saw, it wasn't very difficult to unlock the sheep. All I had to do was, um, well, those sheep, they, they weren't very strong at all. But don't worry, it will get harder than that. It will get a lot harder than that, definitely. No, I don't even want to look at what my rank on the leaderboard was. That that was not a serious rank. That was just to unlock animals. All right. Well, so a new story has been added. Let's have a look at what we'll have to do in the next episode then. To the ends of the sewer, the Nomad Lions failed to take over the Pride, but their ambition is still intact. Their next target is the sewer. Oh, I remember that mission. Yeah, I have to be very careful. That's a stealth mission. I'm looking forward to that one as well. It's an exciting mission, but... It can go horribly wrong with the slightest misstep. We'll see all that in the next video, probably. And let's unlock the sheep. Wow, I've got 220,000, and that's just from unlocking story mode. Got to spend 17,000 on the sheep. And there we go.
We have a new animal. Alright. Well, I've unlocked the sheet. I've unlocked the next episode of the story. So I've done what I wanted to do. And so I think that's the end of the video. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you again shortly.